open the Lesson 2 Tutorial 00 Atlas file. Select the T-Rex in the Object Tree window. Cycle through the subparts to get a feel for how the model is built. Rename any incorrectly or ambiguously labeled body parts so they are clearly and concisely defined. Save your file as Lesson 2 Tutorial 01. Get some scratch paper and a writing utensil. Draw some poses for your dinosaur. Start to document the project details, like the name of the project, character, and scene activity, on an animation plan document. If you do not have a printout of an animation plan document, you can use a piece of paper. Draw the poses for your motion and give them a clear and concise name. Use simple shapes to represent the parts of the body. Don't worry about quality, your drawings don't have to be perfect. Study the poses to determine what motions you need to create. Write down the motions in the Motion and Pose Notes section, as well as any information that could prove helpful during animation. Return to the Lesson 2 Tutorial 01 Alice file. Initiate the cameras and hide the left thigh. This will help us keep track of the leg with which we are working. Switch to the quad view. Carefully zoom and scroll the auxiliary camera views so they show T-Rex in full view. You will not be able to undo camera movements in these views. So if you lose T-Rex, you will have to open the Lesson 2 Tutorial 01 Alice file again. With the current camera set to front view far, select the individual body parts for rotation. In order to match the first drawing, keep an eye on the auxiliary views while rotating the parts from the current camera view. Once T-Rex looks similar to the drawing, capture the pose and name it Test Foot Front. Repeat this process for each drawing, then save your file as Lesson 2 Tutorial 02. On your animation document plan, write down the name of each pose in the boxes provided in the orientation values for subpart section, then write down each leg subpart. Return to the Lesson 2 Tutorial 02 Alice file and change T-Rex's pose to Test Foot Front. Select each leg part and write down its current point of view information. Since we only manipulated the rotation on the x-axis, we are allowed to document that lone value for each part. Do this for each pose. You now have the values needed to make the animation via methods.